In this video, I'm going to show you how to publish OPC UA messages over MQTT using Node OPC UA, which is an open source Node.js implementation of an OPC UA server that has PubSub functionality. This video is sponsored by HiveMQ, who are providers of an enterprise grade edge and cloud based MQTT broker. So please do check them out to help support this channel. My name is Kutzai Mandi Teresa with Industry4Auto.tv and I regularly publish Industrial Internet of Things tutorials on this channel. So if you are new here, please do make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell to make sure that you never miss any of the videos. I'm going to be simulating sensor data within the application and publish it to an MQTT broker in the cloud and then use an MQTT client application to subscribe to the MQTT broker to view this information. So first, let me take you through my Node.js application. So this section here is responsible for importing packages that I've already installed. This here is the Node OPC UA server package. And this one is the OPC UA PubSub extension. And this package here is for types in OPC UA. Now here we are creating an instance of an OPC UA server. And then we initialize the server. And then here we get the namespace for our OPC UA server address space. And then we add an object to our OPC UA server address space called sensor. We give it the browse name, my sensor. And then we put it inside our root folder. Next, because we want our sensor object to give us temperature readings, we add a temperature variable as a component of our sensor object. We assign it a browse name, node ID, data type and a value and then moving on this here is the code that generates random numbers and assigns them to our temperature variable so as to simulate our temperature sensor readings okay so at this stage our opc UA server is ready and we've populated its address space with our temperature sensor object now we need to add pub sub functionality to our server so to do that we get the PubSub configuration details from our user defined method, which we'll see shortly. And then here we install PubSub on our server. And when that is done, we start our OPC UA server with PubSub functionality. And then next, this here is our PubSub configuration method. And here we also use a user defined method to create our PubSub connection. And then we also use another method to build up our published data set and then we return a PubSub configuration data type. Okay, now let's take a look at our create connection method. Now inside this method, we create an MQTT endpoint and we create a data set writer and specify our MQTT topic under transport settings. And then after that, we create a writer group and then create a connection where we specify the transportation mechanism as MQTT with JSON encoding and put our MQTT endpoint information and then return the connection. And then finally, let's look at our method for creating our published data set. So here we create a published data set and specify the fields of our data set metadata. As you can see, we have created a field called name and assigned sensor temperature to it. Next, we put the node ID that specifies the source of this data in the address space, which is the node ID that we assigned to our temperature variable earlier. Okay, so that's all we need to do here. So our OPC UA PubSub application is now ready to publish OPC UA data over MQTT. Now, before we run this application, Let's head over to my browser so I can show you my MQTT broker. Now here I'm on my Azure portal. So this is where I've deployed a HiveMQ MQTT broker cluster on an Azure virtual machine. Now if I go into my virtual machine here, you can see the details of my virtual machine. And this here is the IP address of my MQTT broker. And then here on this page at port 8080 on the same IP address, I've got my Hive MQ broker dashboard. So as you can see, my MQTT broker is ready to receive messages. So let's go ahead and start publishing 
OPCA messages over MQTT to this broker. So to do that, I'll go to the directory where my Node.js application is located. And then I'll run the server.js file. Okay, so our OPCA pub sub application is up and running. So we should be publishing messages to our MQTT broker. Now what we need to do is to subscribe to the same MQTT broker to see if we are successfully publishing OPC UA messages over MQTT. And for that, I'm using an MQTT client application for testing called MQTT.fx. So if I go into settings here, you can see that I've got the same broker IP address. So I'll go ahead and apply these settings and then go on to connect. Okay, now that we're connected to our MQTT broker, I need to go ahead and subscribe to the same topic that we're publishing our OPCA messages to. So I'll go to subscribe. Okay, and then click on subscribe. Okay, so as you can see, we are receiving our sensor temperature value. Okay, so we've successfully built an OPC UA over MQTT solution. And from here, you can subscribe to this information using some visualization tools to build a dashboard, or you can simply store this information in a database. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And in case you aren't already, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.